Lindsay, those four free throws at the end of the game, what was going through your mind, if anything? Uh, make them. <laughs> <laughs> uh, try and ice the game. Lindsay, how... How has it been having to come back in all of these games? How have you all been able to do it so consistently? Um, this is what we do. We fight. Um, we're really resilient. Um, we just keep pushing. No matter what the score is, we're just going to keep going at it because we know that we can come back and win the game. So I think it's just we have that fight in us, that fight in us and a chip on our shoulder. And talk about what was the atmosphere like today because it felt like there was a lot of energy from yeah. the crowd. Yeah, we, you could tell when we were making that run and we were starting to come back, it was really loud, and it started to amp us up, and we were like, okay, we got this, and we can make this run right here. So it was really helpful. Um, really appreciate all the support. Veronica, what, it, what was it like kind of coming off of, you know, a game where you, I think I read that you guys got back on the bus at like 5 a.m. the next morning, and how, <laughs> how has this run affected kind of, you know, your, your energy, your, are you fatigued at all, anything like that? Mm -hmm. Um, I just think this run has given us all a lot of confidence. I think we um, have been able to trust each other more and more throughout each game. And just, as she said, like us being able to come back no matter what, um, I think it's a huge confidence booster and just allows us to have a lot of energy no matter what the score is um, throughout the game. So, I mean, everyone's kind of tired, but that's everyone in March. So I think it's just kind of who can push through more. You guys were down eight at the beginning of the fourth quarter, hadn't made a shot in three, four minutes. Who do you look to at that point? Who kind of started the run from there, do you think? Sure. I don't know. I mean, honestly, it was everybody. Mm -hmm. Like, everybody made a shot when they had to. Everybody got a rebound when they had to. It's just the little things. We all, I think everybody kind of just chipped in it to start that run. Yeah. I think we all just kind of trust each other, no yeah. matter who has the ball, just to put in the basket. So. And then defensively, um, they kind of got out to a little bit of a quick start on you guys hitting a lot of threes in the first half. Yeah. Clamped down more in the second half, especially uh, at the end of the third quarter, the start of the fourth quarter. What were some kind of adjustments that you guys tried to make on that end? Um, I mean, I guess just focusing on rotating quicker and uh, moving with the ball kind of, uh, and recognizing our personnel, knowing who wants to drive more and who wants to shoot more. So just really just keying in. Veronica, you, the last few games have been very efficient, scoring a lot, not taking a lot of shots. Have you, is that sort of the flow of the game? Or are you thinking about maybe trying to take more shots? Mm -hmm. um, I mean, my teammates, my coaches have definitely reminded me to keep shooting no matter what, whether it goes in or out. So I think, um, I mean, I've been trying to do that more with the ball in my hands and stuff like that. But at the same time, I obviously look to get my teammates involved. So it's kind of a mixture of both. What's the biggest difference playing at home versus the last few games being out on the road? Mm -hmm. I mean, tonight especially, this environment was awesome. It was a lot of fun. You can just kind of hear the energy throughout the building. So, I mean, it's obviously a lot more fun to have the momentum on your side and the home base, like, supporting you rather than on the road. Yeah, and, and just kind of talk about that fourth quarter defense. Just looked in, on those, in these last three games, you've allowed less than 10 points in each fourth quarter that you've played in. So what, it, what have you been able to do in those kind of high leverage, high intensity situations to, to neutralize the opposing teams? Um, I mean, I think we really just uh, like going in timeouts and things and w talking to each other on the court, telling like we have to lock down here, like this is it or our season's over. So I think it's really just like having a sense of urgency and being ready to play. And what's the difference in kind of the feeling around the team coming from, you know, say the start of the run to now when, when you're, you're really so close to, to the end and, and to winning? Uh, if that's even on the mind. Mm -hmm. I think we all just, like, the trust within our team has grown tremendously um, from the start of this tournament and through the start of season. I think you can just kind of tell on the court, um, like, when one of us makes a mistake, we're right um, there to pick each other back up. So it's kind of not really like a blame or anything like that. It's just we trust each other a lot more and, uh, like, forget about the past and move on. And how do you think that will help you, you know, into next season with, with only Palace gone mm -hmm. and everybody else coming back? Um, I think it's just building us up because we'll be even better next year. Mm -hmm. um, I think it's just helping us now, getting us prepared for going into next season.